Hi everybody, this is CT Readings and this reading is going to be for Leo, Leo Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. What are the messages that pop out for you, Leo? What have you got for Leo? What have we got for Leo? Leo, check out the link in the description box. It's going to take you to the extended. And in the extended, we will clarify more for the person you're connecting with. How are they thinking, feeling about you, their next moves towards you, outcome of the situation between the two of you, advice, oracle messages, and love notes. So do check it out. I am going to be linking it below for further guidance, okay? Now let's see what we got for Leo. Balance is something I'm hearing for you. Wanting to balance things or working towards a more balanced state, okay? Hmm. Hangman and the Four of Swords. I think you took a step back from something, Leo. It, to me, it does look like you took a step back from a certain situation. Maybe it tired you out, okay? I do think that you might want to do something about it, but you're not doing anything about it. Because you might feel like there's not much you can do, so you're taking a step back. Let me tell you something, Leo, I see a major shift in the energy for you, especially in the time to come, where you might be feeling right now that a lot of things in your life are not clear enough. You do not know why are things happening the way they are. Uh, sometimes you just get tired. Your life is going through a lot of changes, right? And it sometimes it catches you off guard because you do not know how to adjust to that. Something unexpected happens and things like that. So I think your life has definitely gone through changes in the past few months, especially in the past, uh, I would say four to, hmm, like this year, but I would say four to seven months. If we go back four to seven months, uh, a lot of changes, okay? A lot of changes but I think that you know what I see that things are changing for you as in I see more clarity coming towards you I see the truth coming out about a certain situation so no matter how unclear you might be feeling right now no matter how uh, much of this energy is burdening you things will become clear eventually so I think there was a certain situation that burdened you, that energetically got heavy on you and emotionally also got heavy on you, okay? So um, not everybody recognizes energy, but I think it was more like you got emotionally drained and something in you just said that I cannot take anymore, okay? Um, you felt like giving up and you did give up, okay? Uh, you overanalyzed the situation, you thought about it too much, you thought about uh, finding a solution, but then you just gave up. You gave up. And I, I don't think that you made it known to the other person that you're giving up. It's just like a silently backing off. You're, I think you're, you're trying to focus on something here. I do not know what is it um it's like you have a goal that you are wanting to achieve in your life so emotionally there is some burden in the energy and mentally as well feeling a little bit exhausted but it's not like you do not have goals you're still working towards your goals you're still very ambitious you still you know have that energy and i see a lot of healing going on so i think you took a step back from a certain connection because you thought that it's too much for you to deal with. I see you going through healing. There is some sort of a transformation happening here. Maybe the way you're seeing things, Leo, has drastically changed. Um, and somebody has, of course, disappointed you. Somebody has, yeah, somebody has disappointed you. And I think it is a love situation. Could be friendship, anything. But it, it, yeah, 
you got hurt you go, it's it looks like you were putting a lot of effort um it's like that energy of giving 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 and giving so much and then feeling like oops i literally drained myself um what did i do there could be an underlying regret here uh, that you have as well about a certain situation something is bothering you emotionally okay now i don't see you getting you know dwelled in that it's more like that energy of hmm it's like something is troubling you emotionally but you're not sitting in you know, i mean it's there's nothing wrong with sitting and crying about it but i feel like you have the ability to pick yourself back up after it you know what i mean so that kind of an energy ten of wands the eight of cups you're walking away you're walking away it's too much of a burden for you to handle i don't know what is it a job a love situation something you're walking away from but i at the same time think you maybe are not walking away completely because you would still want to come back to the situation okay you still miss the memories, you still miss the time that you two spent together, but you seem to be walking away currently, but I don't think it's permanent. Like, if somebody returns and apologizes and acts right, you, you're gonna go back. Right now, see? Look at that. I see you being very focused on your money, on your, on your goals, something very stable you might be doing in your life. Um, signing a contract i don't know very something very legal very big or very even could be small you know just starting something um working day by day towards your goals that would be the right way to say it hmm, one step at a time and it is going to take some time but you're still making that effort it, I feel like this is the most beautiful part of it. Even if your life has been messy, it's it's not like I see you sitting in that energy. I see you doing something about it. A very motivating, a very um, self-reinforcing energy. As in, I know where I am and I know where I have to go. This is a past situation where you gave and gave and gave. Like literally, I think these are the memories, Leo. You're still missing somebody, um, especially when it comes to memories together, okay? You could be remembering something, but then you're also remembering the fact that they were manipulative or they were not being honest. It's like somebody pretended to be some... They promised you something, they said something, and they didn't follow up and you felt betrayed you felt emotionally manipulated and i feel like this person could do that because you were heavily invested and you would just they can this person can maybe wrap you up in their words very easily uh nine of cups and the judgment leo there's a lot that you are keeping to yourself aren't you okay there's a lot that you are keeping to yourself i see you taking control back uh, and i also see you having options as in um to me it looks more financial there could be a financial decision uh, i don't know why i keep getting this somebody someone even just one person i don't know somebody here is making a very important financial decision or something legal taking control back, maybe starting a business, maybe changing jobs, I don't know. Something like that, okay? Do let me know what is it. Something very, like, something that you've taken control over. Now, with the Nine of Swords energy, Leo, there is still that energy of you feeling a little bit drained. But like I said, it is with the, it is also with the energy of you feeling in control. So, I see ups and downs in the energy. So one day you might feel like you've got your shit together. The next day you're going to feel like, oh damn, I haven't got my shit together. So just move through it. Just go through that energy instead of dwelling on it. Because I think there's a lot that you're keeping to yourself. You're not really showing it to people around you, what is going on within you. But something is going on within you. 
something emotionally disturbing you, you know? I think your the person that you are connecting with, their ego does get in the way at times. Um, they act like you're always going to be there for them. They act like you're always going to come towards them, okay? And they kind of create this energy of confusion. So they keep you up in the air with stuff. They never tell you exactly what, what they want. And that bothers you. And I feel like recently something happened here. Something came out. Like you got to know about this person. Maybe they ghosted you. Something did happen here. With the two of wands, the seven of pentacles, and the page of swords. I think somebody was making you wait. And you had your hopes high. So, so to me, it is looking like you had your hopes high about a certain situation. Um, and then the other person didn't show up like that. Which is fine because you, you now are taking control back. Now, the main energy here in this reading is about balance, is about stability, change, and clarity. So whatever happened in your life happened for that reason. You got that? Understand? <laughs> the King of Wands. The Page of Swords. Leo, you have to tell me, what is it that you're deciding? Because there is something very legal and financial that you're deciding or thinking about. Maybe like, I want to start a business and things like that. There's something new that you might be learning or headed towards a new venture, a new project. I see you getting control back. I see you uh, getting your confidence back as well. Very lovely energy. Let's get your person's energy a bit. The signs that are here are Aquarius, Pisces, Libra. We have a lot. Taurus, Leo. With the Two of Swords. Emotionally unavailable, not making a decision. I think that is what what was, you know, the reason, the reason behind you choosing to move on. It's like you look back at a situation and you don't think it's worth your time. <clears throat> Gemini is here too with Aries. So check out the link in the description box, Leo. We're going to see how's your person thinking, feeling about you, their next moves towards you, outcome of the situation between the two of you, advice, oracle messages, love notes and messages from your parson so do check it out i am going to be linking it below what just happened do i have to take all of these fine meditate and contemplate new moon in pisces calm down calm down see i think this is more so talking about you feeling emotional and a little bit too emotional okay but which is fine which is very normal the end of a tough cycle approaches right so I see your life changing I see things changing for you if you've been through something tough it's gonna pass believe me Believe in the impossible, so manifesting um, and expecting a powerful, powerful change. Something that you maybe think that you will not achieve, you will be able to achieve. Like I said, the coming energies for you and the coming time for you is going to be very, very like fruitful. Uh, you're going to see happy changes in your life. Like I said in the beginning of the reading that I see a lot of clarity, I see a lot of changes happening for you. Um, and I see growth as a person too. There's something changing and you might not see it, okay? You might not see this the way I am seeing it right now, but when it does manifest, you will see that things are changing for you. It's just that you have to believe in your dreams, whatever it is that you want to achieve and work towards it. This is a time to believe in yourself, I would say, and don't dwell on things because I think if you... Uh, dwell on things it is very likely that it's gonna suck you in and make you a little bit depressed okay let's see so we've got romantic feelings and retreat it's time to disconnect from the world and your feelings are real and worth exploring 
I think you and your person. You and your person both are on a break, okay? You two are not communicating. But energetically, you both are present in each other's mind or whatever. You both are connected energetically. There is still that energy of you feeling something towards them, them feeling something towards you. Sometimes this person made you also question um, yourself, okay? This is a very deeply rooted connection. Maybe that is why it's not easy to let go. But somebody here has emotional issues that need to be, those issues need to be addressed because they cause troubles in the relationship. Now, I feel like this is, yeah, this is a soulmate, twin flame, karmic, whatever, that kind of a connection. I would say this is a soulmate connection because it is, you might have noticed, Leo, that ever since this person has walked in your life, it's been a journey, you've learned about yourself, you've, this person has tested you a lot, I think. But now is the time you have to keep an open mind, like I have been saying throughout this reading. Anyway, that's about it. Those were the energies that hoped out for Leo. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel, Leo. Check out the link in the description box. It's going to take you to the extended. And in the extended, we will clarify more for the person you're connecting with. How are they thinking, feeling about you, their next moves towards you, outcome of the situation, advice, oracle messages, and love notes. So do check it out. I am going to be linking it below. Take care and bye-bye.